let me be very clear and very simple because I think this is the moment to be clear and simple. I was in the opening ceremony of World Cup II as a representative of the Commission. It was the first post-pandemic global sport event and Europe could not be absent from that occasion. So as Vice President in charge also of sport policy, I was there. In full transparency, I had discussions with our heads of national European football federations. I defended our European sport model, and that's very clear. Point number two. On uh, all my public statements, all my public statements, not the only day, the only time I was in Qatar, but across the year. All my public statements on Qatar, every single word, is fully 100% compatible with Commission policy. This is the European Commission. We are not improvising. We are not inventing positions. So I religiously, scrupulously reproduced Commission policy. And on the infamous or famous issue of labor reform, I reproduced not only commission policy, but ILO policy, which has uh, an office of 40 people, 30 people in Doha, who were the first people I saw upon landing there. And point number three, for me, after 32 years of public service, there is only light. I will tweet and I will keep tweeting as a sign of transparency. And let me tell you something. Thank God I tweeted. You can imagine what type of criticism I would have gotten if I hadn't tweeted everything I said, everything I did in the light of the day. So that's it. I try to be as simple and as clear as possible. Thank you, Vice President. Indeed, uh, we have been making these statements about the reforms undertaken by Qatar in the area of labor rights well before Vice President Skinas went to Qatar, and this is on public record. So there is absolutely no discrepancy between what the Vice President tweeted at that point in time and what the Commission has been saying all along.